Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I've got a recipe for you and it's super easy. I've got a potluck I'm going to and um, it's actually a very special one for me. So I wanna bring something really delicious that uh, everyone will enjoy and we can maybe um, celebrate the moment a little bit better. I'm gonna make a crock pot chili and because I'm busy at work and with other things, I'm not gonna have time to slave over the stove. I'm gonna let the crock pot do all the work while I'm gone at work. So, and then it'll be ready for tomorrow. All the spices will have had a chance to meld together and get married up. So if this inspires you to stay with me, I hope you go down in the show more box below and check out my Wild Tree website link. Um, there's free recipe ideas over there. You can replace any of the Wild Tree products with stuff you already have in your pantry. And, um, or check out the all organic, all natural product line. Um, there's also my Facebook pages there. Go check that out. Uh, we've got a big conversation going over there. I post my videos on there so you can see when I post immediately. You get notified and join in on that conversation. So let's go make some delicious crock pot chili with some all natural beef that I got on sale. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, so one of the first steps to making homemade chili is to determine how much meat you need and to get your meat prepared. But also, I've got a half a pound of pinto beans soaking in the crock pot. So they're gonna soak overnight at room temperature so they'll be ready to cook in the morning. I can drain them off and they'll be ready to go. So now I've got my, um, what my butcher calls London broil. I get corrected every time I say that, but it's a, just a very lean cut of, I, I think it's a top round, but I'm not sure. So I'm not gonna speak out of turn. And it doesn't matter, it's a really lean cut of ground beef. I leave very, very little fat on here. Trim this all up. This is probably three or four pounds. We're gonna use probably close to two pounds of meat in this, but I'm gonna freshly ground my meat um, and get this going. I'm hoping I get to purchase some more of this so I can get this put back in a dry canning process, but we'll see what kind of time I have. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay guys, so um, this is the result. There's a big, probably four pound bowl of ground beef. Fresh ground beef that you did yourself. You know there's no garbage in there. There's no additives, there's no nothing. Now I will say that somebody gave me a tip on um, getting all the meat out of the grinder and kind of cleaning up your grinder. And that is to put some bread through the grinder. I don't have that this time, but I do have this beautiful bowl of fresh ground beef that I'm going to be able to uh, put in my chili. So I know my chili is delicious, it's hormone free, it's just, it's not had anything bad um, put anywhere near it. So that being said, um, we're going to get this going and I think I'm going to brown off um, half of that for this pot of chili. So the other thing I've got started is I did prep my vegetables. They're all chopped up. I have uh, three small to medium onions diced. I have five small jalapenos seeded and diced and four cloves of garlic. So that'll be ready and that's how you prep a crock pot meal. So I'm going to take you over while I'm browning this meat up. All right, so now I'm over at the stove and I've got my cast iron pan. I'm gonna put down some, I don't know if you can see it because the light always puts a glare on it. But this is the Wild Tree um, Natural Grapeseed Oil. And I'm gonna use that because there's really no fat to speak of, not enough fat um, in this ground beef to get it going. This has a high smoke temp, it's a healthy oil, and so I don't mind using it. I'm going to use about half of what I had in that 
um, bowl. And that bowl held two pounds of ground beef, uh, or four pounds of ground beef, sorry. And so um, two pounds is gonna go in here. I'm hoping that this chili bowl <laughs> will all fit in that crock pot because um, I think we're gonna use this for, if I can and I can get to the store and everything, we're gonna use it for chili dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna get this beef down on here and get it browning. And then in the morning, it's going to be all brown and ready to go. I don't have to worry. I don't have to, um, you know, I don't even have to think about it. So there you go. That's my ground beef. And I do want to say, um, I'm not going to season this meat right now because I'm going to season it kind of all in the pot together. But if I was doing this chili in this pot, I would season it as I went. So you're just going to brown that off, and that's all I'm really doing. So I'll bring you back when it's all browned up, and we'll move on to the next step. Super easy. All right, so this meat is all brown, and there's quite a bit of juice in here. And I'm not gonna throw that out. I am gonna turn this burner off. I'm gonna let this come down off this high temperature and I'm gonna put this into a container with the juice from the meat or the stock or broth, whatever you wanna call it, that's gonna go in my chili as well. I don't wanna lose that. So that's like um, a beef stock, basically. There's no other additives in here. I haven't done anything else. So we're gonna save that and put that into the chili. And so this is gonna go into a container and I'm gonna refrigerate, after it cools down, I'll refrigerate it overnight and it'll be ready to put in the crock pot in the morning. Now, you could use home can ground beef. Um, normally, if I was sending this with my husband, that's what I would do. Um, I definitely have to get on making some more because we're almost out. And I've got a uh, canned ground beef that I did a wet method where you uh, cover the ground, the cooked ground beef with water. I'm not as fond of that as I am the dry can method. The dry can method tastes just like this. So let's get this put away and I'm gonna see you in the morning because I don't have anything else I have to do tonight. In the morning, all I've gotta do is dump everything in. It's all ready to go. All right. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay guys, it's uh, 9.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and get this chili in the crock pot so it'll be done this afternoon. And I've got my vegetables all here. There's three medium onions to recap, um, four small or five small jalapenos seeded and diced up, a uh, few cloves of garlic all minced up. You've gotta have lots of garlic and about a pound and a half to two pounds of ground beef that I've already browned off last night. So I'm gonna put the ground beef in right now. And this is a pretty hearty chili. Um, it's got beef and beans in it. Some people don't like beans in their chili, but I soaked a half a pound of pinto beans last night. I like to have um, kidney beans in my chili as well, but we're gonna stick with the pinto beans and call that good. I've turned my crock pot on high to get it up to speed. This is a seven ounce can of diced green chilies to go along with those jalapenos. Mmm, okay, I like it spicy, you know that. Then we've got uh, some organic diced tomatoes. Gotta love some organic diced tomatoes. Two cans of those, and I'm gonna need some water to go in there because those beans are not done swelling up. So we're gonna add some water. They've gotta rehydrate. And this is gonna be a big pot of chili. This is great. It's gonna have tons of flavor and textures. And now I'm gonna dump in this whole big bag of veggies. And then we'll get to the seasoning part. I'm going to do this a little different than I've done for you in the past. Um, 
just because it's really super easy. And what makes this even easier is on a crock pot, a crock pot meal, you can do this the night before, get everything ready like I did, and then you throw it together within five minutes in the morning and let it simmer all day. And before you know it, you have this beautiful pot of chili or whatever pot of goodness you've got going on. So, okay, so I think I've got that mixed in pretty good. And now I'm gonna show you my sauce mix. And this, it actually seasons two pounds of meat. You can make it mild, you can make it hot. Um, it gives you some suggestions here on the back, but I really feel like these are time saver. When they go on sale, I get them because it's got everything I need in there. So you've got your chili powder mix, which is absolutely wonderful. You've got a little package of masa flour. Um, if you want to thicken your chili at the end, it gives it that nice masa flavor. And then you've got some cayenne pepper here and salt. The salt, it's nice to be able to leave it out. And I'm going to leave it out. I don't, I'm trying to eliminate salt in my diet um, wherever I can. I feel like with enough flavor, you really don't miss it. Okay. And then the cayenne, I think I'm going to wait till the end to do that because I don't want this so hot that um, it's uncomfortable for people to eat this at the potluck. I want everybody to be able to enjoy it. And some people have wimpy lips. You never know who's going to be there. Okay, let me get some water out of my kettle. And this water is on the warm side because I use this in the morning to... Um, hydrate Sage's dog food and get the chicken mixed up in her kibble. So let's get a fork and we're just going to bring this together. And honest and truly, these are just dried chilies that have been uh, dehydrated and put into a powder. Now we've got this kind of a paste, but do need some more water. So there you go. We're going to toss this in there as soon as I get it mixed. And that crock pot's just good. I'm going to let it come up to speed and then I'll let it um, simmer. I'll put it back down on warm and let it simmer the rest of the day. And finish cooking those beans. That's really all we're trying to cook at this point. So let's bring you over for a quick close up so you can see what's going on. Well, okay, good. so doesn't that look good? It just looks delicious. And this is that the chili powder paste seasoning packet. And I honestly, I love these. They can be a little expensive if they're not on sale, but I always catch them on sale and buy as many as I can afford. Um, and then it makes for quick and easy chili. I don't really have to think about it. Now it's starting to take some shape and color. And if I need more, I'll get more in there, but we're going to let this simmer and go. And the vegetables are going to let go of a lot of um, their own juice and flavor. And so that's how it works. That's chili in the crock pot. Pretty darn easy. And it's going to be so delicious. I can't wait. All right, guys. I'll be back when it's, mm, I don't know, almost done. Okay, guys. We are done with this chili. And it has been simmering in this crock pot for hours. And I know everything is good and done. And I turned it off about, oh, 20 minutes ago, just so it could come down off of such high heat, but I did not open it. So anyways, just gonna scrape that. Um, I will tell you that I added the masa flour packet to thicken it up. And I also added a can of, um, rinsed kidney beans because I really missed having that pop of color. I love seeing the red kidney beans in here and there was room in this pot and you know how I am. If uh, I've got the ingredients, I'm going to fill that pot to the brim and this is for a potluck. So I definitely want to fill that up. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to move my, I was going to have a 
big bowl full, but I don't think I will. I'm just gonna have a little small taste for you guys. I don't wanna get crazy. So I will fill my bowl. I don't know if I can get that in the picture or not. I guess I can. I'll just put a little bit in here. And you could top this with cheese. You could top this with um, fresh jalapeno. You could top this with anything you want. I'm going to top it with, I'm going to forego the cheese because I'm trying to behave. And I'm going to top it with some beautiful green onion and the tops as well because it just makes it pretty. Okay, let's uh, take a picture and I'll bring you in for a taste test. All right, guys. All right, guys, I think it's cooled down enough that I can take a bite without uh, burning my mouth. I am gonna put a dollop of sour cream because I couldn't resist. After seeing the green onion and the sour cream on here, who could possibly resist that? I'm telling you, doesn't that look beautiful? Mm. And I'm going in for a bite because it smells amazing. So I'm just going to take a little dollop in my spoon with some green onion. Mm. And there's some onion there and meat and yum. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Wow. That is amazing. You know, I make chili all the time, but I don't believe that I've ever really made it um, like this in the crock pot. And I always worried that it wouldn't be as good as the slow simmer on the stove, but I have to correct myself on that because this is absolutely delicious. And anybody that hasn't tried this, I highly recommend you do because it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, that's amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. The beans that I soaked overnight are perfectly tender. All the spices, it's not too spicy. And I did, I added that masa flour in and I added the whole packet of cayenne, which is not that much. Um, this was a big pot of soup, so um, it it's really, it'll be friendly for anybody who wants some. The jalapenos have their own little flavor in there, but they're not hot. So I hope this inspires you to maybe step outside the box you're in and try a new chili, try a different method of cooking it, and maybe share it with some friends. Go to a potluck or take a dinner to somebody and, and bless them with a pot of chili. All right, guys. Until next time, I hope you come back because I got some more videos on the way. And maybe you can give me a thumbs up and share it on your Facebook page. Keep me going. All right, guys. See you next time. God bless.